Hi, I'm Katherine Taub, a technical sales engineer at Audinate. Today I'll take you on a brief tour of Dante Domain Manager. Dante Domain Manager provides improved control, scalability, security, monitoring, and tracking for your Dante network. This can be helpful in any installation, from modest to massive. Since Dante Domain Manager is a server-based software application, we can log into the web browser dashboard and management page from anywhere on our network on any device. Once I get logged in, I'm taken to the customizable dashboard. Here I can see an overview of the health of my Dante system. As you can see, I've divided up the system into three different domains with various devices enrolled in each, the auditorium, north building, and south building. I can see that there's a problem in the north building domain, and in the alert section, we see the specific device that has the issue. The device table mic is offline, so I know I'll need to go fix that. We can also receive alerts about clocking, are my devices in sync? Connectivity, are my devices online and able to connect to the server? Latency, are audio packets being dropped? Subscriptions, are the routes between my devices resolved? And any server or system issues. Alerts can also be sent to email or to an external network monitoring dashboard by SNMP. The domains panel is where I can go to set up new domains and view already existing ones. Adding a new domain is as simple as clicking on the Add Domain button and then just typing in a name for your domain. You can also delete domains here that you don't need anymore. If I take a look at the South Building domain, I can see which device is the clock master. I can see if I'm sharing audio between different domains. It's important to note that by default, devices enrolled in a domain are only able to connect to devices within their domain. But if we happen to need to share audio between devices in various domains, we're able to do that through shared audio groups. Additionally, we see all the devices that are enrolled in a domain. In this particular domain, we can see I have devices enrolled from two different subnets. In Dante Controller, I can see this all reflected in that my domains are now on separate pages. This makes it easier to avoid mistakes in routing and provides a clearer view of the system. Also, I see all my devices in the South Building domain, regardless of what subnet the devices or myself are located in. Here in the Devices panel, we can see devices that have been discovered and placed into the unmanaged domain. Devices can be auto-discovered across the network, just like they are with the standard Dante system. I can click on devices in the unmanaged domain and select a domain to enroll them into. I can also enroll devices manually by IP address or by uploading a CSV file of IP addresses. When I click on a device, I can see information about the manufacturer, firmware versions, connection status, the device's recent activity, its clock sync status, if I'm sharing audio from that device between domains, and its IP address. I can also enter my own relevant device details here. Once devices are enrolled in domains, all their details can be exported to a CSV file for an easy upload to an asset tracking system. With Dante Domain Manager, users must log in to see devices and make changes to your Dante system. Roles are assigned on a per domain basis to make sure users only have access to the devices they need at the privilege level required. I can add local users here in the Users panel, or I can connect to an LDAP or Active Directory server in Settings, allowing users to log in with their already existing credentials. The way this reflects in Dante Controller is if I log in as the user Corey, I can see he has domain administrator access in the North and South buildings, but is only a guest in the auditorium. Therefore, he's unable to go in and make any changes in this domain. Finally, Dante Domain Manager includes an audit log that keeps track of everything that happens on your Dante network. You can see any changes to the system users make and device errors and warnings that have occurred. I can search by text or I can add a filter to be able to search by device name, username, domain name, event type, or date and time. This allows me to easily track down issues with devices, users, or the network providing valuable information for troubleshooting and training. As we've seen, Dante Domain Manager can provide improved organization, routability, authorization, monitoring, and logging for your Dante system. 
These core features can apply to a variety of AV applications. Thank you for joining me today to learn about Dante Domain Manager.